lead singer for Iron Maiden, Bruce Dickinson, has once again set out on his own to release some solo material, and we are here today to take a deep, hard look at his new song called Afterglow of the Ragnarok, Bruce Dickinson solo material. And I just learned that this freaking tune is eight minutes long. I said to myself, eight minutes, really? Eight minutes? So maybe it's just a, it's a, it's a Harvey Wallbanger, as they say. Uh, but we are here. Bruce Dickinson has released uh, Getting Ready or has released a brand spanking new solo record. And you know what I've noticed is when I go back, I've got phone checkers. You know what a phone checker is when you're on your streaming app listening to music and a song pops up and you go, oh, sounds like Bruce Dickinson. And it's solo stuff. And I go, that's pretty good. I didn't much care for the uh, Tattoo Millionaire. It was a catchy enough tune and stuff, but the, the kind of the, the real nuggets that he puts on his solo records and stuff, I haven't mined that much. So, uh, of course, we love Iron Maiden. We think they're the, the legends. Uh, so we do this right now. This is the Channel Changer. Takes us deep into the official video. He's been taking his pills. I've been taking me vitamins that Joe Rogan told me to take five months ago. And me, I've never felt better in my life. I take them vitamin pills and I'm ready to put out a solo album and fuck a thousand men. I don't know. None of that's true. I don't know if he buys stuff from Joe Rogan or not. Channel Changer, here we go. Bang. Yeah, you can start him slow. When it's eight minutes, you can... I must create a system or be enslaved by another man's. I will not reason and compare. My business is to create. I like that. William Blake. See the guy that... Uh, That actor that shot his wife at the restaurant, William Blake, Los Angeles. Oh, he's in a CD hotel. E equals MC squared, but why? That guitar sounds good. Guys, another pentagram. The hour drops nine. Ah! This guy's got a, he's got a bungalow down there. He's a monk with a bungalow. My God, Bruce Dickinson's a Jedi. Huh? Dark and heavy. Oh, he's, he's the Emperor from Star Wars. Bruce ain't gonna keep that big cloak on the whole time. He's been working out. It's not bad. Is he going to the, he's going out to the volcano? It's a bad idea to go out to the volcano. It's There he is. 
this, he says. You gotta see my Joe Rogan press. That's not bad. Come from the shadow of the dawn. They got, he got the guys from the band Midnight to be in his video. It's awesome. Uh-oh. When, you, when they put the big glowing triangle on his head, the guy is fucked. He is fucked. I mean, what are the floating eyeballs? All will burn in hell. Now the bridge is broken. Shaman, you can't stop me. I thought shaman were good. You come with me to desire the dreams. You want to see the Mandrake Project? Oh. He told you everything he knows. That's the molecules. I am your very soul. Feet gotta be hot going through there. That rip? Kind of sounds like sabotage to you. Oh, that his girlfriend? After glow, Ragnarok. I saw it, Lee. I was there. I saw the Mandrake Project. It's right behind that big door. Don't know a bleeding blacky thing about the Mandrake Project. So the album is called The Mandrake Project, and now he says to be continued. Because now your brains are saying, What is the Mandrake Project? What does Bruce Dickinson know that I don't know and I need to know it now? Right? What say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, we love Bruce Dickinson, right? He's, he's a legendary singer. Still sounds great to these days. He's not using laptops. Doesn't use backing tracks and laptops and stuff to do his stuff. So get down there. Tell me what you think. Good? Great? Fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Bruce Dickinson's solo stuff and the Iron Maiden band, which he allegedly plays in. I've never heard a single tune from them, but I don't know what that's all about. I've, this is like the third time I've ever heard the word Iron Maiden. Those two words put together, iron and maiden, like the third time. I heard about it maybe once, two, three times in school when they were talking about old torture devices. But other than that, I love Bruce Dickinson. I think he's great in his solo stuff, which is considered to be just regular normal stuff and not solo stuff to me because, you know, like I just said, uh, all-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album. Have you ever seen The Man Lied Before Your Eyes? I'm not going to lie. I got a bit wispy-eyed seeing Iron Maiden live. I've met, talked about that before. Or you can say, not good, not great. Shane, I don't like it. I don't like Bruce Dickinson. I, I'm a Paul Diano man. I'm a Paul Diano and a ba Blaze Bailey man. And uh, so don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know. If you got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links down below. Or you can put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, I see it, like it, and we haven't done it, you'll know because I'll hit it with the heart. And then uh, I'll tell you, I'm going to do your request. And I'm going to say, hold on, hold tight. Don't check back, but don't bother me all the, every day about it. Because it takes time. From the time that I say, I'm going to do your request, it takes time to do that. All right, swing it out. Bruce Dickinson. Squint. Mm -hmm.